In this video, we're checking out the Ring Spotlight Battery. So, those of you that have visited the channel before will know I'm a big fan of the Ring products, and I've been waiting for this, the Ring Spotlight camera, specifically the battery version. Now, the reason I've been looking for one of these uh, to be released in the UK is I'm looking for something uh, that is a bit better than the stick-up camera, uh, has light but isn't as big and bold uh, as the floodlight camera, and the reason I wanted this uh, battery version is because the wired version has what I can only describe as an unsightly cable that isn't designed to be hidden. Uh, it's designed to run around the building into uh, some power outlet somewhere. I didn't want that. So uh, if you're looking for something that's constantly powered, then uh, there, there is a wired version of this. The advantage of the wired version is you don't have to worry about power. It's constantly powered. Um, the response times will be a little bit faster and you do get a little bit more customization options within the app because it is constantly powered. Um, so there are a couple of things to bear in mind as we go through this. Now, as we go through the unboxing, uh, I'll explain a bit about a couple of the features um, and a couple of the differences. So even though um, the Ring Spotlight wired and battery look similar, they are actually uh, different in terms of their size and their functionality slightly. It's difficult to tell until you see them side by side. So I mentioned a few things as we go through it. But some of the commonalities are, uh, it has a 140 degree field of view, which is one of the reasons why I really wanted it for at the front of the house. Um, so you can get a bit of the, the driveway uh, and the front garden area as well. Um, you can, it comes with one battery, but you can install up to two batteries. That means that uh, when the one battery gets used up, you'll be able to switch to the other one. Obviously, depending on uh, motion activation, each battery should last up to around six months. So we'll see how things go over time and I'll report back. Um, but obviously, if you've got a couple of batteries in there, and they're only about 20 pounds for another battery, uh, it means you don't have to keep on going up the ladder um, to change those batteries out. So let's start off uh, with the unboxing. So as per usual, it's in the nice box uh, from Ring. It comes in uh, black as I have here, also in uh, white, and these are the, the couple of uh, additional batteries I have. In the box, as standard with Ring products, we have an array uh, of accessories to help us with our installation. Talking of ring, there's some motion there from the doorbell. Uh, this is um, the battery that comes with it. On the front here, uh, you can't see in the video, but there's two very small LEDs. One is green, one is orange. They light up uh, when it's charging. So when it's charging, the green and the orangey red one will be on when it's fully charged, just the green. We'll come to that later. This is uh, the Spotlight camera itself. Um, so a couple of things to note uh, in this version. So we have LED lights in either side. Uh, the infrared lights are also uh, in this version of the battery camera. There's, there's two in either side. In the wired version, there's actually six smaller ones uh, across, the, across the top. Um, and in general, the, the battery version is uh, slightly stumpier in, in terms of its height, uh, but longer in terms of the body. I think it's interesting, um, also commendable, the fact that Ring aren't, uh, I guess, doing the cheaper manufacturing option and just having one chassis for all the things. It's definitely bespoke built um, for the version of the camera they're doing, which is fantastic. On the back here is, uh, I guess, the, the sync button. Um, then we have uh, the screw mount where we're going to install the bracket and under here is uh, a rubber uh, protector I can get this to come out um, and that's so there is a solar panel um, that you can buy to connect this up as well so you can buy the solar panel on its own or the solar version which comes with it um, the reason why i haven't gone for the solar on this one is i don't want 
um, the unsightliness of a solar panel stuck out the front of the house and I hope that with um, the two batteries I'm going to get you know, good enough uh, use time out of it yeah, so I'm not having to change a battery very often. But the advantage obviously with the battery version is if you decide you need the solar panel you can add that extra uh, at a later point without any problem. To gain access to the bottom there's this little button that you push quite firmly and, and pull down and that um, shows you the inside. So there's a two battery compartments and then under the bottom are lights that light up when the battery is installed. They light up red. Um, I think I guess to indicate that they are providing power. Um, and then we're seeing in the future um, what happens when the battery runs out. Now I assume um, one of them will blink or change colour or something to let you know which of the battery banks is the battery that needs replacing in. Uh, that information is also available in the app. So let's pop this to one side uh, and then we'll come back uh, and finish off uh, getting things out. to show you what else is in the box. So as usual, you have uh, a few of the ring stickers to let the bad guys know that you are ring protected. A little bit of uh, Hello Ring uh, brochureware in here. So information on your quick start guide, uh, a bit of warranty information, and then specific details on installing uh, the Ring Spotlight camera in the different languages. Obviously most of this stuff goes through the app, you've got videos, etc. anyway. Uh, it's nice that there's a bit of paperwork in there as well. Then we have this small uh, micro USB charging cable for the battery. As per usual, we have our drill bit for drilling the holes for the mounting. We have oh, the trusty ring screwdriver, um, again for, for mounting. Some screws and anchor mounts. And then a, a little couple of screws, which I think they might be for um, mounting the, 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 the bracket to the um, camera itself. This is the, the bracket, it's like a, a ball and socket type situation, so you put this in here uh, and then you tighten the screw. Nothing else in there other than a bit of more paperwork. Uh, put your own sticker in English at Ring. What? Interesting. So I guess it's a backup sticker or something? I don't know. I'll have a look online later and check that out. Right, so that's what we have in the box. Let's move all this over out of the way. Just think thinking about these little grub screws. I'm not sure if they're spares, because obviously they're not going to be for mounting, thinking about it. Um, if I find out what they are for, I'll put a little message uh, on the screen somewhere a bit later. Right, so setup is super simple as with all the ring products. We won't go through all the details. You'll just see a, a couple of things on the screen here as I go through it. One little quirk that I noticed was when um, putting in the battery, it's important that you consider the, the orientation. Now, I don't know if this is a design feature or a quirk, but I was holding the camera at this slight angle when I first installed the battery. And then when going into live view, um, the camera was off an angle when it was um, vertical like this. And I had to kind of turn it to get that, that picture to be in the right uh, position. So take the battery back, battery back out, make sure that it's properly uh, vertical like that. Then I plugged it in job was a good one. Um, so one of these batteries I've recharged. So let's um, have a look at that. If, um, just a uh, coincidence really, if you have a Ring Video Doorbell version 2, um, it's the same battery. It's the same battery that um, comes with that. 
So again, if you do buy these battery packs uh, separately, obviously they come with their own little charging cable uh, and information uh, about how they're charging as well. Right, so first things first, so obviously we uh, pop the casing open. They only go in one way, so basically this, this metal tab towards the metal area there. We'll get both of these set up so we can pop them in at the same time. And we go, dump, dump. Okay, I don't know if you can see here, the bottom is now uh, flashing like a white and blue color. Let's see get set up. So I guess this is kind of like a, a boot mode. Once that's happening, I will get uh, the ring up. Let me have a little look. One of the other things um, that I've noticed is when you have the wired version, you have the ability to do a couple of things you don't get in the battery version. Uh, one of those is adjusting the light settings. Um, I don't think that's a big uh, disappointment because you're gonna want them on to be bright most of the time anyway, if you're using this uh, for the purposes intended. The thing that I do like, which you don't have with the battery version, is you can choose um, the motion parameters that means the light will or will not come on. Um, so you can set it so the light won't come on until someone comes to a certain distance and they will come on or just stay using that IR uh, based on their distance. Also, um, one of the things I was hoping for, a bit like with the stick-up camera, but it's happened with this as well, with the battery version, um, you can't draw your own motion detection area. You can just say that you want it to be X amount of feet or meters uh, away on the, on the little graph, which again, not the end of the world, um, but it is, would be nice to be able to draw out the area that you want the motion to be happening in, uh, especially if you're overlooking a public area, you might obviously want to make sure the road is uh, not included, but the, the pathway is. Okay, so that's booted now. Um, so if I just load this up, we can have a little look. Um, let's see if I can make the lights work. Lots of motion out the front tonight, uh, probably foxes, so please excuse that. Okay. Let me uh, just quickly pause the video whilst I turn off those ring uh, notifications, because whatever it is going on out the front, we don't need to hear about it. So let's just try again. So we're going to live view, see what we uh, can see. So obviously this is inside, so it's not gonna be uh, ideal for you guys to see. So we can see the uh, original picture there. If we push the plus button, you can then turn on the lights. Uh, and I'll do uh, a picture at night, so you can see the difference um, when the lights are on off with the IR. Obviously there's also the, the siren as well, I think it's about 110 decibels, so neighbors will hear it. Um, so I won't do this um, now, perhaps I'll add a video at the end of it, I mean outside doing it during the day so you can get um, a reasonable idea. But yeah, this is it. Um, so we'll get this installed. Um, it's really simple. You basically undo this uh, socket clamp, not too far that um, the um, socket comes out, of course. Then if you, if you look at this, you'll see it's kind of uh, angled in, in a certain way. So keep that in mind when you're doing your installation. Basically, you force that socket in place, he says, and obviously when you do the clamp up, that will then hold this in um, position. So I'm going to want mine quite uh, angled reasonably down, 
So mine will be positioned something like this. Okay, so if I just do the clamp up, just to give you guys uh, an idea of what that's going to be like. It is all plastic, so even though it's, uh, it feels quite um, sturdy, I would obviously be considerate when you are um, clamping it in so you don't break anything. Um, and obviously what I'm going to do is offer it up um, on the wall, then access the, the library to my phone to make sure it's giving me all the coverage um, I want, and then uh, we should be good. And so I'll, I'll do a follow-up video uh, in the coming months as to, you know, is it working as well as expected? How is this dual battery setup working? Because uh, I've up the ladder every week uh, trying to get access to this. Um, things aren't going to be too good. Um, and I'm also going to mount this uh, a little bit lower than I have uh, the previous one. So the ideal height seems to be um, around 10 to 12 feet um, for the IR sensor to work really well. The, the one of the stick-up cams I have on the drive, I mounted it up really high, um, and it's not that great uh, at night time because the IR beam obviously can't reach far enough. So obviously you have the spotlights uh, to help compensate uh, with this, but you still want the IR activity really in, in my opinion. So we'll see how that looks um, when all mounted up and everything. Uh, and like I said, I'll finish this video up with a, bit, a quick picture uh, of what the mountain looks like. Listen to that siren, um, see the, the quality at night with the IR sensors and um, the lights on. But so far from looking at obviously the, the other version, the version black and white, it doesn't make any difference, it's just a color. Uh, I'm pretty happy uh, with how this performs. The real question is gonna be, um, you know, how does it work? Uh, longer term with the batteries but I'm really um, impressed at how rapid the connectivity is uh, in the battery uh, version there's been some recent firmware updates that's probably helped as well but it does seem to perform better um, than the stick-up cameras I mean it should because it's slightly more expensive uh, around 200 pounds um, plus obviously 20 pounds an extra 20 pounds or so for additional battery uh, but remember if you are uh, a ring uh, subscriber you get 10% off uh, when you're buying things anyway which is what I am so uh, it helps a little bit with the purchases of your ring passion so I hope this video was helpful um, thanks so much for watching thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos please consider subscribing to spectrum geeks Want to also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest? Thanks again for watching.